Hello guys, welcome to Macau Dismanagers and today we are kicking off our series on project management and entrepreneurship for BTech CSE and IT students. This course is designed to equip you with the essential skills and knowledge needed to excel as entrepreneurs and project managers in the tech world. In this video, we will provide an overview of the course syllabus and dive into our first chapter, the introduction to entrepreneurship. You will learn what entrepreneurship is all about and the traits of successful entrepreneurs and the different types of entrepreneurship and also the risk and etc topics. So let's get started. So now it is time to dive into the syllabus for our course project management and entrepreneurship. This course is structured in 12 comprehensive chapters, each designed to build your knowledge and skills progressively. At first introduction to entrepreneurship, we will start by understanding what entrepreneurship and why it is important especially in tech industry. Idea incubation. This chapter will guide you through the process of generating and refining the innovative ideas. Chapter 3 Entrepreneurial Motivation Here we will explore what drives the entrepreneurs and how to stay motivated in your entrepreneurial journey. Information Here we will discuss the critical role of information in entrepreneurship and how to gather and use it effectively. Number 5 Closing the window this chapter focuses on recognizing and seizing the opportunities before they pass. Application and project reports preparations. To learn how to prepare the essential documents like project reports and applications. Project management. We will cover the fundamental managing projects including the planning, execution and closing. Project feasibility study. Understand how to access the viability of your project through the feasibility studies. Number 9 Project Planning This chapter dives deeper into the planning phase, including the setting the objectives and outlining steps. Project Scheduling and Costing In this chapter, we will learn how to schedule your project effectively and manage the cost effectively. Project Monitoring and Control Here we will discuss the techniques for the monitoring the progress and controlling the project variables to stay on track. Case Studies Finally, we will look at real world case studies to understand the practical applications of the concepts learned. Each chapter is designed to provide you the theoretical knowledge and practical skills necessary to succeed. Make sure to follow along with the videos, participate in discussions and engage with the course material to get the most out of this learning experience. Okay. At first, the first chapter introduction to entrepreneurship. The meaning and the concept. Entrepreneurship is the process of designing, launching, and running a new business. Typically, a startup offering a product, service, or process. It involves the identification and the capitalization of opportunities, resource mobilization, and the establishment of a new venture to exploit these opportunities. Entrepreneurs are innovators who challenge the starts often disrupting the industries with their innovative solutions. The concept of entrepreneurship extends beyond just business creation. It includes the ability to take calculated risk, preserve through challenges and continually adapt to changing the market conditions. This dynamic process is a fundamental to economic growth, job creation at the ad and the advancement of society. Now innovation and entrepreneurship. Innovation is the life blood of entrepreneurship. It involves the creation and the implementation of new ideas, products, services or processes that add the value to the market. Entrepreneurs leverage the innovation to differentiate themselves from competitors and meet the evolving needs of consumers. This could mean the developing cutting-edge technology, finding the novel ways to solve the problem or improving the existing products. Innovation drives the entrepreneurial spirit, encouraging the continuous improvement and the adoption. Without innovation, entrepreneurship would stagnate, leading to a lack of progress and reduce the competitiveness in the global market. Thus, the innovation and the entrepreneurship are extricably linked, each driving the other forward. Now, contributions of entrepreneurs to society. Entrepreneurs play a crucial role in the development of society. 
they drive the economic growth by creating the new businesses which in turn generate the employment opportunities and contribute to GDP. Entrepreneurs also foster the innovation leading to the development of new products and services that can improve the quality of life. Beyond economic contributions, entrepreneurs often engage in social entrepreneurship, addressing the social issues such as poverty, education and healthcare through the sustainable business models. Their venture can lead to social change promoting the inclusive growth and improving the living standards. By taking risk and pushing boundaries, entrepreneurs create the value that extends far beyond their businesses. So now it is time to discuss about the risk opportunities perspective and mitigation of risk. Entrepreneurship inherently involves risk as entrepreneurs venture into uncharted territories with no guaranteed outcomes. However, it also presents significant opportunities for those willing to take this risk. Successful entrepreneurs we view risk as a manageable part of the process, employing the strategy to mitigate the potential downsides. This includes the conducting through the market research, developing the comprehensive business plans and maintaining the financial prudence. Diversification strategic partnership and adaptive business models also help in risk mitigation. Entrepreneurs must balance their optimism with realistic risk assessment. Also prepared to pivot when necessary. By effective managing risk, they can seize the opportunities that lead to innovation and growth. So now it is time to discuss about the another topic like diffusion of innovation. Diffusion of innovation is a theory that seeks to explain how, why and what rate new ideas and technologies spread through the cultures. Proposed by the sociologist Everett Rogers in 1962, the theory identifies the five key stages through which an innovation passes knowledge, persuasion, decision, implementation and confirmation. According to the Roger, the adoption of, inno of an innovation is influenced by factors such as perceived advantage of the innovation, its compatibility with existing values and practices, its simplicity, trialability and observable result. The process of diffusion involves different categories of adopters including the innovator, early adopter, early majority, late majority and laggards, each of which adopts the innovation at different times. Understanding this process helps entrepreneurs and businesses to develop the strategies to accelerate the adoption of new products and services, thereby achieving the market penetration and the growth, the growth more effectively. The diffusion of innovation is crucial in today's rapidly evolving market landscape, where the speed of adoption can determine the success or failure of a new venture. Now this is time to discuss about the three component model of creativity. The three component model of creativity proposed by Teresa emphasizes that creativity in individuals and organizations arises from the intersection of three essential components domain relevant skills, creativity relevant processes and intrinsic task motivation. Domain relevant skills. This component includes the knowledge, technical skills and exp expertise in a specific domain. For instance, a scientist's deep understanding of biology or a programmer's proficiency in coding languages. These skills are foundational tools that an individual uses to generate the ideas within their field. Without a strong base of domain relevant skills, it is challenging to create the innovative solutions that are both feasible and valuable. Creative or creativity relevant processes, this refers to the cognitive and personality processes that contribute to novel thinking. Key elements include the ability to think divergently, willingness to take risk and the capacity of preservance. Creativity relevant processes involve thinking the outside conventional boundaries, experimenting with new ideas and maintaining a flexible approach to problem solving. These processes are often enhanced through training and practicing creative thinking techniques. Intrinsic task motivation. 
intrinsic motivation is a drive to engage in a task because it is inherently inter- interesting and enjoyable or satisfying when individuals are intrinsically motivated they are more likely to invest effort persist through challenges and explore the creative solutions this component is crucial because it fuels the passion and the commitment needed to sustain the creative individuals external rewards and pressure while sometimes beneficial and potential they undermine the intrinsic motivation and consequently the creativity so by new training and balancing these three components individuals and organizations can enhance their creative cap- capacities leading to innovative outcomes and sustained success so at the end of the video thank you for joining me on macot smasher for the first video of our series on project management and entrepreneurship today we have covered an overview of the course syllabus and the introduced the exciting world of entrepreneurship in the next video we will delve into the chapter 2 idea incubation where we will explore how to generate and develop the innovative ideas make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates if you have any questions or thoughts feel free to leave them in the comments below let's embark on this journey together and unlock your entrepreneurial potential see you in the next video